In Formula 1, milliseconds matter. One system that plays a crucial role in overtaking is the DRS, drag reduction system. But what exactly is it, and how does it work? DRS is a mechanism that reduces aerodynamic drag by opening a flap on the rear wing. This allows air to flow more freely, decreasing drag and increasing top speed, thereby enhancing overtaking opportunities. Importantly, DRS is manually activated by the driver using a dedicated DRS button on the steering wheel. VAR can activate DRS under specific conditions. They must be within one second of the car ahead at the detection point. Activation is permitted only in designated DRS zones. DRS is disabled during wet conditions and within the first two laps after a race start or restart. It's crucial for drivers to deactivate DRS manually before entering corners to maintain optimal downforce and vehicle control. A recent incident underscores the importance of proper DRS management. During the 2025 Japanese Grand Prix, Alpine rookie Jack Doohan suffered a high-speed crash in practice after failing to close his DRS before entering Suzuka's high-speed Turn 1. The resulting loss of rear downforce led to a significant impact at over 330 km per hour. Fortunately, Doohan was unharmed, but the incident highlights the critical nature of DRS usage. DRS zones vary by circuit. For instance, Melbourne's Albert Park features four DRS zones, offering multiple overtaking opportunities. In contrast, Monaco's tight street layout permits only a single DRS zone, limiting its impact. Pros Enhances overtaking possibilities. Adds strategic depth to races. Cons May lead to artificial overtaking scenarios. Reduces the defending driver's ability to maintain position. Improper use can result in loss of control, as evidenced by Dewan's crash. DRS is a powerful tool in Formula 1, offering both opportunities and challenges. When used correctly, it can be a game-changer, when mismanaged, it can lead to serious consequences. Subscribe and follow Torque Trek 44 for more education.